And we go to our big story remembering a political legend. Metro Detroit and the entire nation is mourning the loss of Congressman John Conyers. He passed away at his home yesterday at the age of 90. Congress was the longest serving African American in congressional history. He was a founding member of the Congressional Black Caucus and a true champion for civil rights. Throughout his 53 year career, Conyers played a major role in more than 100 key pieces of legislation, including the Voting Rights Act of 1965. He also introduced the original bill for a holiday honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He fought for 15 years until it was signed into law. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live downtown Detroit to show us how John Conyers is being remembered in the city tonight. Kim. You know, as so many people have so many memories, there are some laws that are on the books that seem like common sense to both Republicans and Democrats today. But before they were suggested by U.S. Representative John Conyers, they were unheard of. His effort definitely improved civil rights for people across the country. John Conyers became a political powerhouse, winning election after election by a landslide in Detroit. His wife Monica says it's because the people of Detroit know he dedicated his life and work to fighting for them and their rights. He always said to me, that if I don't fight for the people, who's going to fight for them? When Conyers was elected in 1964, he became one of only six Black House members. One of the first votes John Conyers cast in Congress was for the 1965 Voting Rights Act, which prohibits racial discrimination in voting. He co-founded the Congressional Black Caucus, which helped give African-American lawmakers a louder voice. Justice in the United States where too often we see people of color and people who are poor still being left behind and ignored. They then pushed for civil rights legislation. It was endorsed by Martin Luther King Jr. at Central United Methodist Church. After King was assassinated in 1968, Conyers introduced legislation to make MLK Jr. Day a federal holiday. It took 15 years to get it passed. I just think about the 15 years that he fought to make uh, Reverend King's birthday a national holiday. When he started out, it seemed like he didn't have a chance and he never got discouraged. This one hurts. He was an American hero. Attorney Arnold Reed worked for John Conyers at times. He says when allegations of sexual misconduct came out from staffers in 2017, John denied guilt. But considering health challenges and political distractions from the allegations, he decided to step down. John is the proverbial David slaying the Goliaths of racism, slaying the Goliaths of sexism, not just for African Americans, but he will be remembered for fighting for all people from all walks of life. Conyers leaves behind his wife Monica and their two sons. He was a blessing to our family, not just our family, but to this world. How do you describe a more than 50 year long career? That's just a short glimpse at some of his accomplishments. You might wonder where he came up with his ideas. Well, from the people I spoke to today, it seems it came from people just like you, people in the community. I spoke to one woman who says when she let him know how she saw disabled children being disadvantaged, he changed the law. We'll take a look at that ahead on 7 Action News at 6. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Yes, his impact is our history and, and paved the way for our future. Kim, thank you for the look back to see how other leaders are remembering the former congressman and for a closer look at his political victories. We have that on our website, WXYZ.com. And as soon as we get funeral arrangements, we will, of course, make them available to you as well.